A typical sign of stable occlusion is that we have a really nice interdigitation of the teeth. One tooth to two teeth contact. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's a nice static occlusion and that's a stable occlusion. But as I said, it's not the only stable occlusion that we know. For example, let's look at an extraction case of upper fours in the class two. What's going to happen here in the end? We will have canines again in class one. And that's very important that we make sure our canines are always in class one. Now upper fours extraction, we have a molar in a full unit class two and the five in the space of the three. So all the gaps closed and we have a stable occlusion as well. One, two teeth, one, two, one, two, and so on. That's a really nice interdigitation here. That's a stable occlusion. Never mind if it's so or like this or like this or like this. Stable occlusion means full static interdigitation. Look at this. This is a stable occlusion. 